So it took us 18 months to develop this boat in terms of what's the perfect stability and layout for the boat. How do we get a bathroom on a six passenger boat? How do we get a slide with a pump on it? How do we build with materials that'll last years to come, right? Our holes have a 10 year warranty on them, which is unprecedented in the industry. Today we wanted to introduce our new Tiki 18. This is our six pack boat. For starters, everything is done with fiberglass. It's heavy duty, it's all commercial grade, the same way that we build our COI boats. It has our big oversized pontoon logs that are 32 inches. This one we actually built as a tri-tune. Often you'll see that the transom area is just a short mounted block that's simple purpose is just for the outboard to be mounted. We actually ran that center pontoon log all the way up on this. We did a lot of sea trialing and a photo shoot. We're actually out in Wrightsville Beach today. Just kind of test conditions with a lot of boats out there. It's handling wonderfully. From the very foremost bow of the boat, uh, what we did is we actually kept the very front section blocked off. But what this does is allows us to have a little bit of extra lift, a little bit of extra freeboard to keep and prevent the boat from ever wanting to submarine. And it sits it up on top of the water so that we can coast through and coast over waves um, instead of through them. Up in that front area is also where we have our big heavy duty anchor locker storage. It keeps all the anchor tackle, lines, etc. The two bow cleats are kept up there. You can also use it for boarding. We do have boarding gates both port and starboard side. Both swing in, but if you're in a marina, that may be easier to bow into your slip. Big open swing arm gate that's up in the bow of the boat. As we're stepping onto the boat, we have our navigation lights. The same way we build our larger sea wide boats, but they're fully retractable, they're all stainless, and they can just go flush with the rest of the deck. So you're not gonna trip over them. They're able to retract back flush into the deck and then only pop them up as needed when you're doing nighttime navigation. If you look at the rest of the boat, we went with a color that was going to be able to kind of help disguise sand and dirt and food and it's a tour boat. People are partying and having fun and drinking. There's, we're gonna be going to the sandbars, gonna be going to the beaches. So we wanted something that doesn't show filth. Everything is a non-skid material, so it's also super safe, easily just grabbing a hose at the end, rinsing everything down. The same thing is done for the top part of the bar. Even though it looks like it's real wood, this is all just a felt material that's laid down with a clear resin that's put on top of it. The cleaning process and the upkeep is super, super simple. The rest of the bow around the outside it's all done with aluminum piping, and then that piping that's not supposed to rust based upon the material is also done with a powder coated material. You can see that we went with a copper, bronze, kind of a brown color. We didn't want just a traditional brown, if you will, for a, a, a tiki boat. We wanted something that had a little bit more class to it. The outside of the boat, to keep up with the tiki theme, we wanted to do something that looked like more of a, an old school, authentic netting or rope, but it's actually all synthetic material. So everything is made from like a poly plastic that's never going to rust. You're not gonna have to worry about it fraying or coming loose or getting any algae growth or mold on it. We wanted this boat to be built for sustainability and to outlast everything. As we're moving aft, the flat cushion area that you see in the port aft is our pop-up head. This is unique to a six-pack boat. For this size, this price point, it's something that's totally collapsible. It doesn't ever block the view of the captains. When you're at anchor, you're up at the sandbars. We finished it, instead of just being powder coated like everything else, it has a big thick cushion so guests can be up there. You can sunbathe, you can soak up the sun and be outside and enjoy it. So it kind of double plays as additional seating. Everything is quick, simple, easy. And then again, it's totally hidden to look clean and keep up the aesthetics of the boat. On the starboard side, you can see we, we wanted to do something that was gonna be fun. Even if you're not at a sandbar, or you're at a beach, you can usually find somewhere to throw anchor. And it's a nice option if people do wanna get in the water, something that's fun, something that can make it a little bit more family friendly. Or in today's case, we went out with a bunch of adults and everyone was still deciding to hop on the slide. Down below is the raw water pump. So you don't have to worry about taking a water bottle and pouring it on top of the slide. It's all 
always gonna have the fresh flow of water just to keep it silky smooth as you're shooting down into the water. Right next to the slide, you can see we went with a big, oversized, heavy-duty, fold-down boarding ladder. This has three steps. You can build it down with four steps. That drops down two and a half, almost three feet into the water, making it a super easy process to be able to get back on the boat. Right next to that, you can see mounted on the transom, we decided to go with a 90 horsepower four-stroke Suzuki. They'll all be built like this. It's super fuel efficient. We're burning less than two gallons an hour while we're cruising around and underway. Underneath it, that's again, totally hidden. We went with a 50 gallon fuel tank. This fuel cell runs from aft all the way up midship. Fueling isn't going to have to be something that's built in regularly in between every single trips with the small little jerry cans that so many of these boats have. Inside of the captain's area, inside of the bar, there's plenty of storage that's built all the way around. This can be for all the registration documents that the captain's gonna need, captain's log, store your flares, your horns, your whistles. We left it open up top. You can set this up with a tea bag style, the netting, so that all the life jackets can be stored up above, or you can put them down below, but we wanted there to be enough space so that if you are deciding to build a boat out with the floating islands or inflatables or rafts, uh, pool noodles, whatever you're using to make your particular market unique, uh, there's plenty of storage for that. Inside the helm, we kept it clean and simple. So we have four switches, accessory turns on to utilize the Bluetooth sound system. That's our big 1200 watt system. We have the horn button, which is required by the Coast Guard to have on any charter vessel or any boat for that matter. We have our navigation lights, which is gonna turn on the front nav lights as well as the top stern. And then we lastly have the pump, and that is built into the slide to do a raw water pump, bring in water and pump it down so that Everyone's gonna have a smooth, silky ride down the slide. Last thing that's up here, even though it may be a small boat, we wanted some electronic digital display. The boat has a full Suzuki LED. This can pull any and all the information that you would need from what your burning fuel rate is, gallons per hour, how much fuel is left. It's gonna give you a trim control on the Suzuki. It's gonna give you your speed, your tachometer, how many engine hours are. Um, and you can also use these to read for general maintenance, upkeep, etc. Well, everything has LED lighting. We built this upward facing underneath the roof. Uh, so it's not gonna be blinding to the captain, but to give kind of that underglow, if you will, for everything down below. It's also built underneath the bar system. It's wonderful to have for the captains cleaning up the boat, uh, put it on the white mode instead of party light mode, and that way they can actually see what they're doing while they're cleaning. You don't need to have a massive tourism market. You don't need to have a big metropolitan city. This is a boat that you can be right behind a busy restaurant that's in your town. This can really be implemented to any market the financial cost is significantly lower than our bigger boats. It's something that we really encourage anyone that was considering being into the boating maritime side of tourism. This is the starter boat. This is the one that anyone can get their hands on at a much more affordable price and just make a killer business model with. This is a quality boat that's gonna last a long time. It's fast, it's maneuverable, it's stable and it's the perfect platform for crafting tours for your customer.